the large and small Magellanic clouds, two dwarf galaxies orbiting the Milky Way, quietly undermine one of the core assumptions of modern cosmology. If cold or warm dark matter particles truly filled the Milky Way's halo, Chandrasekhar dynamical friction would have slowed them down long ago. They should have merged billions of years ago. Yet observations show the opposite. They remain in a stable orbit around each other, with a period of less than a billion years. This persistence directly contradicts what dark matter-based models predict and instead aligns with modified Newtonian dynamics, or MOND, which changes the effective strength of gravity at very low accelerations. We see this through orbital simulations of the LMCSMC system, where data overlays clearly show their orbital trajectories and time evolution, challenging conventional dark matter predictions. A similar inconsistency appears in the Fornax Dwarf Galaxy, which hosts several globular clusters that, under standard dark matter models, should have already spiraled into its center. Their continued survival and stability reinforce the same message. Gravitational behavior in low acceleration, collective regimes is fundamentally different from what Newtonian or relativistic frameworks assume. Even strong MON supporters, like Professor Pavel Kropa, still phrase this as if gravity must have a single, universal form, simply replacing Einstein's equations with Milgram's. But from a complexity-bounded perspective, this repeats the same conceptual mistake. Gravity is not one mechanism acting identically across all scales. It is a context-dependent phenomenon whose form changes with the system's complexity. General relativity works with high accuracy for simple, high-symmetry systems, such as planetary orbits or binary stars, because those systems are highly redundant and symmetric. At galactic scales, those redundancies disappear, and MOND becomes the accurate effective description, offering a different lens through which to understand cosmic dynamics. But MOND itself is not universal either. Its assumptions will fail beyond the galactic scale, just as general relativity fails within it. The Magellanic Clouds and the Fornax Dwarf Galaxy reveal a deeper principle. No theory is universal. Gravity, like every phenomenon in nature, is contextual. It adapts with complexity. General relativity, MOND, and whatever follows are not replacements, but complementary layers in the hierarchy of reality, each valid within its specific domain. The Magellanic clouds remind us, nature never obeys simplicity. It follows contextual complexity. These celestial neighbors offer a profound lesson in understanding the universe.